question is, are we ready yeah, to have TPPA, especially for the lower income group? And we are looking at one specific case as an example is the fishing community. Yeah? The fishing community is one of the poorest and the lowest income earner, less than 400 ringgit per month. And we raised this issue with the Menteri about two weeks ago in Parliament, whether there are preparation for the fishing community in Malaysia to face the onslaught from the foreign competitors. We look at the example from Vietnam, Vietnam experience, when they enter into an international trade agreement with America, the Vietnam uh, fishing industry is much more advanced, much more sophisticated and bigger, are suffering yeah, as a result of the competition with the American. And if yeah, we who are much more inferior than the Vietnamese are going to compete with the American, so we can't imagine how we are going to cope with it. Now the big question is, We've been asking for details or some outline of the TPPA implication for the past four or five years and uh, this has been withheld from most of the parliamentarians and until today it's still very sketchy. Now the question is why is the government withholding information until so late and why is the preparation not given to the lowest income earner because when we asked the Menteri two weeks ago the answer in Parliament was well we're going to have a program. We are going to have a program. It should have been, we already had the program for the past three, four years, preparing for this TPPA. So that's a big question mark. So the government does not seem to be concerned or unduly concerned with the lower income group. So as we have said, they seem to be catering more for the bigger companies, which will definitely benefit almost immediately with this, at the expense of the average Malaysian folks who are the lower income earner.